Childhood should be a time of laughter, curiosity, and innocence. Children should only have one care in the world, what to play next. This is supposed to be the happiest time of their lives. Imagine if your only childhood experiences came through a hospital window. Within the confines of these sterile walls, kids are forced to grow old beyond their years. The reality has replaced fun and games with the all too familiar sting of IV needles, beeping heart monitors, and the burn of chemotherapy. Worse still, imagine if treatment wasn't an option and all hope was lost. If you and your parents knew that you wouldn't make it to your fourth birthday. Every day, these brave children are fighting for their lives, battling a devastating childhood cancer called retinoblastoma. Retinoblastoma is an aggressive tumor of the eye, most commonly affecting children younger than five years of age. In India, there are over 1,500 children diagnosed with the disease each year. If diagnosed and treated early, Children with retinoblastoma have an excellent prognosis, but in India, if patients are able to seek care at all, it is often too late. Here, the devastating disease not only robs these young children of their sight, but frequently takes their lives as well. This is Devakar. At just two years old, he has already been diagnosed with a malignant eye cancer. His mother and father are daily wage field workers, together earning less than 30 rupees, or about 65 cents a day. They had to sell a goat, their only asset, just to seek care. Now they were told that without expensive surgery and months of intensive treatment, Devakar will die. Dr. Usha Kim, head of Aravind's Orbit and Oncology Clinic, has been working with retinoblastoma patients since 1995. Here, a team of doctors treat these patients with a combination of surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. It's a complicated regimen that spans many difficult months. Whenever a clinician uh, comes across an eye disease, the focus of the clinician would be to save the vision of the uh, child. But when it comes to cancers, our main focus would be to save the life of the child rather than the uh, vision. Uh, there are situations when we could save the vision as well, but then these are patients who have to come in very early in the disease. Uh, but most of the times we uh, come across patients who come in a very late stage. And on one such occasion I confronted with a mother and asked her why she brought in the child so late. And the uh, answer that I got from the mother was so shocking. She said, if only I had the money, don't you think I would have come in first to treat my own child? Uh, that's when uh, we decided that we should do something about these children. And that's how we started this Ring of Hope Fund. Ring of Hope was established through the Aravind Eye Care System in 2004. Dr. Usha developed the foundation as a way to financially support the treatment course for India's poorest patients suffering from life-threatening eye cancers. Since its beginning, the organization has provided comprehensive treatment to over 538 children free of charge, giving them a fighting chance for survival. Furthermore, many of these families were also offered room and board for the duration of their stay. Through the Ring of Hope Fund, Devakar is completely free from cancer. Because it was caught so early, the doctors at Aravind were able to save his vision as well as his life. Despite his extraordinary past, Devakar gets to be an ordinary healthy kid. 
Today he is eagerly awaiting his fifth birthday. Each week, at least five patients like Devakar arrive at Aravan's doorstep seeking help. But Dr. Usha wonders how many children suffering from rhinoblastoma are in the villages without access to care and tries to develop strategies for reaching out to the many who never make it in. It's unfortunate that uh, uh, some of the cases are uh, genetically inherited. We have a lot of families where more than one uh, individual is affected. And when it comes to that, it involves a lot of screening uh, which is a genetic test which we're trying to do it in our labs. The Ring of Hope is currently building the first genetic testing and counseling lab of its kind in the developing world. Using a new technology called next generation sequencing, Dr. Usha and her team will be able to test children for the rhinoblastoma gene for under $200 each. All of these are very expensive for any patient. So what we intend to do through this project is try to make this genetic testing possible for every individual who's been affected and also support the entire family. Uh, and uh, this can be done only by creating an affordable system, which is what we aim at doing ultimately. What I see as an outcome to this project is not only saving uh, patients from our country, probably we could extend these services to the underdeveloped countries and the other developing countries as well. What we would be offering is a genetic testing for patients as well as their siblings and the parents so we could also predict the uh, future generation from having this disease. And this Ring of Hope Fund has been extremely useful, not only in uh, treating these patients. When we talk about uh, treating these patients, we talk about treatment in the form of uh, surgical removal of the eye, uh, chemotherapy, radiation, wherever necessary. We do a lot of investigations as well. For all of these, we uh, depend on this uh, Ring of Hope Fund. And uh, we don't stop at just treating these patients we'll have to rehabilitate these patients because most of these patients would have lost their eyes. And when we talk about rehabilitating these children, meaning socially rehabilitating them, we'll have to go ahead and do a prosthesis that is an artificial eye which would fit in these patients. And in fact, most of these children do very well with the ocular prosthesis. Because of the Ring of Hope Fund, 538 children have been able to survive this devastating disease and the Ring of Hope has an opportunity to do so much more. There are 1,500 Indian children who fall victim to this cancer every year. With an earlier diagnosis afforded by genetic analysis and increased access to treatment, it's our hope that these children will get the opportunity and the right to experience childhood the way it's supposed to be, happy and carefree.